Okay, so this was taken yesterday. Our results for yesterday. On our samples. You can see there's nothing's changed with the two cheese. The feta cheese, not much has changed at all. Again, a little bit, uh, you can see some difference in the second cake there, brulee cake. And a change with the uh, orange as well. Not much with the cheese and the ricotta cheese. Got the controlled cheddar cheese. You can see, you can see the one, not much again with the second one, but with the lid off, there was some change with the cheese. Again with the feta, not much. Texture is the same, no, no mold, no nothing. Today, which is the 19th, again, not much change in the uh, with the feta. With the cake, with, with the cake, definitely much more drier than the controlled one. So just going back with the cheese. Smells the same. Color, texture, same. Cake, dry, but this one seems to be even more drier. The brulee. Check out the orange. You had the opposite effect. The one on the left. Just started to turn, mouldy. But the one that was exposed to the G-force acceleration got even more mouldier. You know, I would have expected the opposite effect. The other cheese, which looks like Swiss cheese, but it's not. Not much has changed. Just harder, drier, but no mold. The ricotta. Pretty much the same. Not much in terms of dryness, the texture is pretty much the same, just a little bit dry, not too much. Okay, so coming to this one, we've got the fresh cheese, so this is a mixture, this is from the cheese that was in the pizza, just let me get this cap, these caps off first. Okay, so that's the controlled one, that's the fresh one. It's actually dried up a bit. What's interesting is that this one that was exposed to the G-force acceleration 
is a little bit more moist so it's a little bit more fresher than the fresh fresh even though it wasn't exposed to any g-force acceleration only this one this is the third one that only had the lid off and as you can see it's dried up it's solid so all these had their lids off apart from these two uh this couple of days and you can see the results are quite interesting so that's pretty much it i have for today stay tuned next episode we might be even launching maybe some milk a little bit of milk compared to fresh milk and see if the milk will uh go off or get moldy uh, after our g-force acceleration flights we might even see if our oil and water can actually mix under high g-forces so stay tuned until the next episode guys and uh we'll see you next time so bye for now